Namaste and welcome to Mindly Yoga. My name is Ryan. In today's Yin Yoga class, we will be looking after our hips, back, as well as our shoulders. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel Mindly Yoga as your support provides me the motivation to continue doing what I'm doing and share my love of yoga with the rest of the world. So let's get started. We'll start today's practice by beginning to center ourselves first. So finding a comfortable seat, either cross-legged or kneeling down, placing the hands wherever they feel the best and draw the shoulders away from the ears. Now beginning to close your eyes. With the next inhale, imagine the crown of the head floating up towards the sky. With the exhale, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And now just doing a gentle body scan from the crown of the head all the way down to your toes. Noticing how the body feels today, in this particular moment. And if you're carrying any tension anywhere, letting go of the tension with the next exhale. And now for the next few moments, we'll sit here and quietly focus on our breath. Focusing on your inhales and exhales. Simply observing the length and depth of your breath. And now softly opening your eyes. Our first pose in this practice is going to be a nice neck stretch. So taking your left hand towards the sky and placing the left hand above the right ear. Now pulling the left ear towards the left shoulder and closing your eyes if it feels good.
and now let go of the head as you straighten the neck just lifting the shoulders towards the ears and drawing some circles with the shoulders just for a little bit of a release here and now taking your right hand towards the sky placing the right hand above the left ear and beginning to tilt the right ear towards the right shoulder and now slowly releasing the head and begin to straighten the neck transitioning into all fours coming on to our hands and our knees bringing the wrists below the shoulders and knees below the hips from here we're going to take our right hand under the left armpit placing the right ear right shoulder onto the mat hips stay above the knees and you welcome to leave your left hand where it is or extend the left hand towards the front and then slowly bringing the left palm next to the nose if you moved your left hand 
and then placing the right hand onto the mat going on to the other side taking the left hand and threading it under the right armpit left ear left shoulder to the mat right hand may extend or stay where it is coming back to center and then into all fours moving into sphinx pose walk your hands forward until the belly and the pubic bone arrive on the mat untuck your toes here and place your elbows below your shoulders drawing the shoulders away from the ears soften the gaze or close your eyes Now slowly sliding the hands next to your upper ribs as the forehead touches the mat and now pressing into the palms coming back to all fours preparing for melting heart pose keeping the 
hips and the knees stationary and the hips above the knees we're going to slide our hands forward walk them forward into melting heart lowering the heart towards the earth now there's another option here if you like to go deeper you're welcome to place your chin onto the mat when you place the chin make sure that there's no pressure on the cervical spine or the neck muscles as we don't want to injure ourselves And now slowly coming back to all fours, onto our hands and our knees. Transitioning to a sleeping swan. What we want to do is take the left foot, step it behind the left wrist, and then heel to the left foot to the other corner of the mat to the right side, placing the left knee behind the left wrist. Now you're welcome to stay upright here. If you like to fall forward. you can choose to do so as well by walking our hands towards the front maybe your elbows come onto the ground otherwise making cushion with two fists for the forehead and if you wish to go deeper simply walking the hands forward and placing the forehead onto the mat slowly walking your hands back as you come into all fours gently bringing the wrists below the shoulders and knees below the hips placing the right foot now 
behind the right wrist and then heel to the right foot to the left corner of the mat. And once again, you're welcome to stay upright or fall forward. Choosing the option that works for you. So for this side, you might be using the same option as the other side, folding deeper. Or it might look a bit different for you on this side. So just honoring how the body is feeling today and listening to it and acting accordingly. Coming back up to center and swinging both legs towards the front. Come to lie down, <coughs> sorry, come to lie down on the mat. Hugging the left knee into the chest and using the right hand to guide the left knee across the body to the right side into a twist. Left hand extends to the left side. Coming back to center and then swapping the leg. Hugging the right knee into the chest and using the left hand to guide the right knee across the body.
Coming back to center as you hug both knees into the chest. Maybe a gentle rock from side to side if that feels good. And now making our way into Shavasana. Extending the feet towards the end of the mat. Letting the feet find the corners of the mat. Softening through the feet and the toes. As they flop out to the sides of the room. Hands come by your side. Palms face the ceiling. I will wake you up when it's time. Rest. Wiggling your fingers and your toes as awareness returns to your consciousness. Moving and stretching in ways that come naturally. Rolling over to your favorite side, using your arm as a cushion under your ear. With your eyes closed, coming up into a seat. Hands come together, palms touch. Thumbs press against the sternum. One soft inhale, followed by one soft exhale. Bring the thumbs of the right center to your lips and to your heart. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. Wherever you're in the world today, have a great morning, amazing afternoon or an awesome evening. I will see you soon on the mat. Namaste.